Hello and welcome all. I have here today a list of just some of the great survival games on its way to next gen consoles when they drop later this year. Now it's not to say these titles won't also be released on current gen consoles so I have no fear in that regard. But before we do begin don't forget to click that like button if you did enjoy today's survival list. I get absolutely nothing out of it other than the fact that I know you guys are enjoying them. Even if you want to dislike them, please by all means, it lets me know either way what way they're being received from people. It costs you guys nothing and believe it or not, it's some of the best feedback I can get. So starting us off today and these lists will come out, each title will come out in no particular order. There's not one being favoured than the other, it's just as they come. And starting us off today, we have Tribes of Midgard. Tribes of Midgard is the action tower event survival title from the team Norsefell Gearbox Publishing. In a world full of gods, creatures and resources you must prepare for Ragnarok which brings the invasion of deadly, huge giants. You play as a viking and must explore, build defences and even craft weapons from the abundant resources around you. Be prepared though, for as when night falls you must defend your village from the legions of hell who come to destroy everything you've worked so hard to build. You will in fact face a variety of enemies who once defeated could be looted for those precious rewards and help you craft better items to fight the legions later on. It's a different type of survival title but one that looks like it will be great fun on next gen. So Resident Evil 8 is coming to next gen consoles. The survival horror experience is set to be released in 2021 and although the name is officially Resident Evil Village. It is actually the 8th in the series, and it follows as a direct sequel to Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, and it cleans up the cliffhanger and serves as the conclusion to the story. And from the looks of it, in the trailer we are treated to another first person experience, and it has a very nice countryside feel to it, but as of yet the location is still pretty much unknown. We can clearly see werewolves and a big cult theme that we're going down the roads of here. And like Resident Evil 7, we can assume we are in for a tough, horrific time in a brutal survival situation. And I mean, let's face it, Resident Evil 7 was terrifying enough. I can only imagine what this could possibly look like on next-gen VR or just next-gen alone. So that one I cannot wait for. Chris? Sons of the Forest, sequel to N. Knight's brilliant The Forest, the survival horror game which released in 2018. This time around... We don't have the father-son story, but have some type of military unit being deployed, and as well as a few new horrific looking enemies. Although the plot is slightly unknown at this moment, we can see from the trailer two men heavily armed walking through the forest and suddenly stopping in fright of something they have found. At this moment we don't have an exact release date either, but judging by the trailer it's quite far along in production. And let's face it, it's going to look incredible next gen. I for one cannot personally wait for this one to drop. I've recently done a Let's Play on the Forest and it was unbelievable. So I'm super, super excited for this one to come. A lot like I know a few of you guys are. And although it didn't actually drop for Xbox, it was only PlayStation and PC. Hopefully this time, in fact, from what I've heard so far, it is going to be coming to a Xbox next gen. Which means, I hope, good news for Xbox fans actually getting the forest drops of them as well. So fingers crossed for that one. Next on to Icarus. A sort of space survival game coming to console fans from the original DayZ crew. It starts you and some friends in a space station where you choose missions on a planet with a deadline. You must complete your mission, gather resources and even have a little explore around if you do so choose to do. All while battling hazardous wildlife, weather, and all while the clock is just ticking away in the background. Because if you do run out of time and you're not ready back at your transport, you are left behind. You, you miss it all and everything that happens up to that point, you are dead, you are gone, you have lost all items, you've gained all progression. I mean, it's completely brutal, it's beautiful. And I like the idea of it a lot, actually. It sounds like it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun and I, I'm hoping... Hoping that as it's next gen, we might actually even get a little bit of a, a bit of Xbox and PlayStation playing together. A bit of cross plat would be amazing in this game, but we'll see. But that's Icarus. And on to Rust, a survival multiplayer that should really need no introduction, and one that console fans have been screaming out for for years and years now. You aim to survive, plain and simple. You must fight hunger, thirst, and even the elements themselves. 
You do this by building everything from shelter, fire and even weapons, hunting animals for meat, protecting yourself from rival players looking to kill you and take all your hard earned possessions. You must do everything in your power to survive. You, you can form alliances even with other players which can even lead to building your own town together if you so choose to do. If your imagine can stretch, imagination can stretch that far, it can be done, you can do it. It's a brutal survival multiplayer which I do believe will hit current gen maybe around the same time, maybe just before next gen, but we will look and feel even better when it does hit next gen consoles. Death Ground in short is a survival horror game which drops you into a desperate battle against some extremely intelligent AI dinosaurs. From the Team Draw Drop games, they bring us a solo or co-op, up to three of your friends, in which you can attempt to survive as a group of professional hunters in search of some high level loot. You must adapt to the constant mortal danger with a wide range of weapons, items and even its own crafting system. The environments are terrifying and diverse and full of completely unpredictable AI dinosaurs. Complete objectives using stealth, teamwork and good old fashioned combat. It looks a must play for survival fans on next gen, and did I mention Deadly Dinosaurs? We move on on our list and we have now Green Hell. From the team Creepy Jar they bring us this beautiful struggle for survival deep in the Amazon rainforest. It's a survival game deep with survival techniques including camp building, building traps, starting fires, but also with the survival structure of maintaining your hunger and your first levels. Get food by hunting and try not to be hunted yourself by the local wildlife. But it also has a unique survival technique to it. It's the brilliant wound and slash disease treatment if you want to call it that. But it's an inspection wheel with your body and you can just check everything individually. It's been given the green light for current gen consoles sometime in Q4 of this year but I can only imagine how amazing this is going to look and feel on upcoming console releases. Pray for the Gods is the open world survival adventure game by the team No Matter Studios. It places the player in a brutal frozen island waste where you are primarily tasked with finding the cause for this never ending winter. You're faced with huge beasts which they feel they have literally jumped straight out of shadow of the Colossus and which also could be climbed and defeated. You can explore the frozen yet beautiful island which surrounds you. You can craft clothing, weapon, fires and bases all to help you with this challenge and all while trying to manage your first hunger and your body temperature. The smallest details make this title look amazing even from being able to be lost in blizzards, not finding your way back and then checking the floor to see your own footprints leading you back to safety. Personally it's one that I can't wait to jump straight into, it's one that I've been waiting for for a little while now. So I'm very very excited for this one. The sequel to 2015's Dying Light, we have Techland's Dying Light 2, a survival action horror set in a massive urban city full of bloodthirsty zombies. You must use your handy parkour skills in this action packed survival thriller, equipped with gadgets like the grappling hook and with a wide variety of melee and ranged weapons you must learn to adapt and overcome highly adaptive zombies and the local non-zombie enemies that also surround you and also want to kill you. With a brilliant upgrade system of yourself and the weapons, a world which can change based on your choices completely. It has that sort of RPG feel to it this time around. It's a survival title that has been delayed a few times now, but one that looks set to make its debut on next gen, so here's to hoping. Lastly on our list we have Dead Island 2, the zombie survival action title from the team Deep Silver, which has been in limbo for the last few years since it was revealed in 2014. But as next gen consoles are on the horizon, so too does Dead Island 2 look set to debut for. Set several months after the events of its previous titles and this time being thrown into California to fight off the zombie horde. This time out we will see some different combat mechanics which will hopefully mix the game up from the last lot but we will still see the forever fun weapon crafting system. It does look like we will be able to play solo or with some friends, so don't forget to bring some friends along to this new outbreak. It's been a long time coming, and it wouldn't shock me if it was delayed a little bit longer, 
but this would be a perfect zombie survival to join the roster when the next gen hits. So there it is, 10 survival games coming to our beautiful next gen consoles. Speaking of which, let me know in the comments below what side you'll be taking in the upcoming console war. Not that it should really matter these days, but hey, let's hear what you guys got to say. And as I said before, don't forget to hit that like button if you did enjoy this upload today, it really does help. And look, check out the channel for all things survival on current and next gen consoles. Thank you all for watching, see you all again soon, take care survival fans.